All right, my lovers, it's MJ from All to Love TV. Just spitting on my own mouth. <laughs> Happy Saturday, everybody. I, uh, so just hala hala. I'm the founder of All to Love and I run seasonal beach yoga with Surf Santan and some other amazing yoga teachers. So join us on the beach every single day throughout July and August. So we kind of build up over the weekends uh, from April and then wind down in September, October. Uh, we're available for the half term times as well. So just, you know, message myself or Surf Santin uh, or any of the gals you see posting about the beach, the Hala Hala Beach Yoga, you know, and uh, weather permitting. We're in the United Kingdom, you guys, let's be fair. So <laughs> um, with tarot, I like to do these little readings to promote and share all to love, but also to offer divine guidance and loving clarity. That's my my intention with offering tarot readings. Uh, I'm an intuitive, it's, and uh, yeah, I simply listen to the messages, so I really want to reflect and honor that your intuition reigns supreme, uh, for the tool uh, of tarot can simply offer you divine and Islamic clarity if you resonate with, with myself as the reader, so hala shazam. Thank you guys so much for your support, your comments and everything. Um, so this is for the Ultra Love Collective. There's, I, I know, it, there's, okay, it's, <laughs> there's some similar threads running through these messages, you guys. So there is a payout or there is going to be a kickback and a, 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 a fallout that's positive, Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles is getting everything we want, like straight up, like manifesting your dreams and you're like, way, I have everything I ever wanted, way. <laughs> it's like, hala, hala, hala. family, friends, community all the abundance and resources in the world, right? You're, so some of you are straight up, there's like this, it's kind of a stunted energy. There's a new beginning in love. There's a new beginning in perspective, but it's it's not clear yet or something. And, and part of why it's not clear is because you're still figuring out and or laying down the burdens of the past. There's these two pages. Uh, first initial message was that for some of you, these these are children. These are connected to children or your or little ones in your life. One a uh, air sign, one an earth sign. So the new beginning could have to do with the children as well. You're, there's a message here about in my defenselessness, my safety lies. So it's a spiritual teaching from A Course in Miracles. In my defenselessness, my safety lies is, you know, expressing to us the truth of our own divinity and connected to the source. Like, it's the truth shall set you free kind of stuff of, you know, if there's nothing to defend, if there's nothing to fight against, then stop fighting. Hold the line. Trust your truth. Trust the divine. It's not... You know, oh, hello. it's not always easy, this stuff. It's not, it's, I think that's so many of us coming up, coming off the bubble of like the law of attraction stuff and being a little bit more aware of things like toxic positivity in, in a, in an economy and kind of class structure that, um, inherently diminishes m sort of a large part of our culture. And so, and, 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 you know, I see that imbalance in my own personal life and just around of like, you know, when we get into law of attraction, we always want to shout to the rooftops when we manifest all the things that we want. And yet, uh, when things don't go our way, we didn't manifest that. It's nothing to do with me. It's the stupid person, right? So like the shadows and that's why more we're having to deep dig deeper, right? We're having to do the, what we call the shadow work or inner work and, keep excavating these wounds of separation that hold us all apart and it's like it's like i'm on the other end of the spectrum of a lot of the narrative of divide and conquer it's all it's all mental addiction <laughs> and or we're all dealing with addiction and in my personal experience love is what heals us love is what sets us free the truth shall set you free not the tv my lovers not your bank account my lovers not even the judicial law, not even the Supreme Court in truth. We know this. 
There have been great, great leaders and people and revolutionaries who have been imprisoned. And, uh, you know, if they, if they believed in that, they wouldn't be the leaders and the revolutionaries that they've, they be, they became. Some of the people I'm talking about are now dead, but right. So, so we, <laughs> we're so much more powerful than we realize. Right. And so even when things are stacked against, even when it would appear that all is lost, you know, it's not actually, <laughs> it's, it's that, uh, Life has thrown us curveballs. Why? To make us stronger. To make us stronger. And to make us more alive. Less like robots, more alive. <laughs> Sentient. Remember, we're all coming from a mother. <laughs> uh, okay. And, uh, you know, it's warranted in fairness, if you're resonating with some of this, that you're not sleeping very well. Uh, nine of sword. It's like, it's like, to me, it, it can be pretty much like even heartbreak vibe or grief or just like, ah, fuck, you know, <laughs> you can't sleep because you're in the field so deep and you're like, why God, why have you put me here? <laughs> Eventually you soothe yourself to sleep and you wake up and it feels a little bit squeakier the next day and you're like, am I still alive? Yes. And so you keep going. That honestly, so I, I wrote and published a book a few years ago and I was helped by my dear mother to publish it and I'm so grateful for this experience and, and, and yet straight up, I writing that book from within my own soul, knowing the depth and nature of this work, every, like pretty much the end of every lesson is just, just keep going. I'm just kind of going. People I've worked with, they're like, wow, you know, it looks like it's going to be all freedom. And I'm like, yeah, it is truly freedom. And it's in it, but it can be relentless inside. And freedom, no matter what we tell ourselves, freedom is not something that we're going to get by becoming financially free. Financially free. No, because that makes you still attached to the money game. Money game. Freedom is in your heart. Oh my God. And mind. It's, <laughs> it's in your mind. <laughs> Emancipate yourself from mental slavery. None but yourself can free your mind. It's so annoying, isn't it? Just pay me and I'll free your mind, you guys. <laughs> Just joking. But, you know, a little bit of divine guidance and never hurt. <laughs> Oh dear, yeah. There's stuff. Look at this. This card is so warm and fuzzy. <laughs> that would be the end, my friend. <laughs> that would. I don't know why I'm laughing. I'm like, clearly, this is not comfortable for anybody. But, uh, oh Okay, and I. It's like the death card in tarot as well. It. It just. Thinks it's like. I remember this like even three years ago. So three years ago when I started Tarot it would have been pre-pandemic. And I've gone through my YouTube channel. I've cleansed it. I got rid of like m well over half. I used to have over a hundred or rather I used to have a, over 1500 videos from 2012 to now. And I've just cleansed it. Cleansed the old YouTube channel because I'm tired of myself. <laughs> um, however, for whatever divine timing patterns and processes, it would appear that there's another huge culmination cycle taking place. Uh, big turns, big endings. This is this is energy that just doesn't come out of nowhere. This is energy that when we're in it, we know we're fucking in it. And like, holy shit, could this get any worse? No, but it's time to end it. So so that like like it's really kind of harsh but that final dagger you know you don't we're not we're not doing this no more you know you're not and when i i speak to these things this can be as much to do with people places things in our lives and or just how we're relating to ourselves nobody loves me everybody stop i'm gonna end up back all the time stop that give yourself a new beginning clean your mind you know clean your mind and then, and then this is like about these children and, and the hanged man, you're going to have illumination eventually. And there's going to be some sort of key exchange. Like there will be, I'm hearing a verdict. There will be a verdict. One might go one way. One might go the other way. 
There will be, however, illumination and give it some time. The outcome will be in a benefit for everybody. That's what faith is. Faith isn't something that like you're, you ride when all is awesome. Faith is something that you dig in real deep and believe that things are going to get better even when everything is lost. Even when it appears like the world is against you and duck -da, <laughs> whatever. It's those moments that require faith, right? It's like being toxically positive when everything's going well and then when shit hits the fan, you try to pretend like, I, well, I didn't manifest that. That was, you know, my employee's fault or whatever have you, right? It's just a whole bunch of Shazam. <laughs> and like straight up just greed in a capitalist society that doesn't necessarily give us the freedom to be joyful, happy, and decent. You know, it's a dog-eat-dog -dog world. So let's all pretend to be dogs and just eat each other. <laughs> I you know, grew up learning about how the truth shall set you free and how love thy neighbor. And over the course of my life, I've been con per perpetually perplexed at the fact that we don't. And at the same time, we propagate that, but then we don't, we don't, we don't align with the action. But I'm pretty sure that's, you know, what we're here to do. <laughs> it's not, Easy. Oh, God. Eesh, kala. I need to go back over to the YouTube. There's some juicy, juicy insights coming. I'm nearly done as well, the monthly readings. So check out those for July, you guys. One more card. One more, maybe two. Yeah, there's definitely like a new dome. You're eventually, you're eventually going to feel new. But even that newness, it might be a bit foggy grog. <laughs> Imagine a bear coming out of hibernation after what, like three, six, I don't know how many months, but like they're sleeping and you're, it's not just like one night, eight hours. It's like months and you're like, <sighs> where's my fucking coffee? <laughs> and the bear doesn't eat coffee. He's just waking up to the sunshine. So it's time for you <laughs> to wake up to the sunshine. Yeah, and it's more the messaging of you're going to get through the storm. You are. You're going to get through the storm. It might feel like all is lost or it might feel like things are not going in your favor. There's a culmination of, of, of karmic completion. What's done is done. The burden has to be laid down. Um, you'll, you'll notice the burden not being laid down because you won't be able to sleep. You're just going to be staying in these anxiety loops. Lay it down. Let go. Like Sometimes there's just these decisions that we can't... It's, we're already on that trail if that makes sense we're already on a certain trail and we're just gonna have to let that trail act itself out and then get still again reframe and let the new beginning come in once decisions are called in that regard again it's like we that that is the vacuum as it were whether we let go of something or life takes something away though the, the, that's the essence of the changes that we're constantly navigating um hence like i quote yoda the great master yoda of um we have to sometimes be willing to to lose or something like we have to be willing to let go of everything we fear to lose and, uh, you know, it's like I self-predicted it uh, after publishing the book. I, I lost everything. <laughs> um, so, you know, and yet you survive. And the things you learn are beyond your mental reach. The, the lessons I learned in human generosity, the lessons I learned in faith, you know, uh, those are profound. And I, and I truly... You can't, you can't read that in a book. You have to live it. You know, you have to, to embody it. You have to live it. If you want to just study it, that's cool. Read some Joseph Campbell and various other spiritual uh, teachers, academics, and philosophers, or get quiet, listen to your heart, trust your beingness and live the life that you want to live, you know? So you guys have a great weekend i'll see you real soon peace